Hey everyone and welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine. Thanks so much for coming by. I know a bunch of you are here for the giveaway winner announcement, which I will show you here shortly. But first I wanted to do a really quick DIY and I wanted to show you my first attempt at it. Didn't turn out so well, but I thought I would flip it over and give it another shot. And this is actually the same technique that I did on my um, winter DIY video that I did last where I announced the giveaway. And so many of you liked that technique. I thought I would do it on this um, thrift store find that I have here. I wanted to do kind of like a trash to treasure or thrift store flip. So I hope you enjoy. I'm going to be using a white chalk paint, gray chalk paint, and a gray marker. And also you're going to need some tape. It's pretty much the same technique as I did on the tree, but um, just a little bit different in different colors. I wanted it to be more of a um, kind of calmer look than the Christmas tree, not so black and white. So I wanted to do the gray. And I'm using the same technique with the tape where you use a spacer piece of tape and then you um, push the next piece of tape down tight and smooth and then use the spacer. And then as you can see, I'm doing here. And then because I couldn't find our um, ruler, I just decided to use this piece of wood because it was, it seemed pretty straight to me. And then after you have all the tape down, you're just gonna want to draw the lines all the way down. And then remove the tape. And like I said here, I should have waited for the paint to dry but I was kind of in a hurry and I wanted to get this finished and get the announcement video out to you guys. So originally this wasn't going to be a farmhouse look or I didn't want it to be, but because it kind of turned out that way, it looks kind of like chippy and sanded. We're going to call it a farmhouse DIY. <laughs> so then you're going to go in the opposite direction with the tape and do the same technique where you use the spacer piece in between the um, pieces of tape that you stick down really well. So you're going to want to do your best to draw over the same lines that you already drew. And I didn't do an awesome job on it, but it kind of messes with your eyes with all the lines, so you don't have to be perfect. And that tape you don't want to remove. You're going to tape over it going the opposite direction in the original spots that you had the tape the first time. And you can see where those were. Then you're going to take that, um, that round sponge brush like I showed you before. And this is only because I find it easier to work with so you're not getting as much bleed through of the paint under the tape. And this is where you come in with a darker color than you used to draw the lines. And then now you can just pull off both layers of tape and then you're all finished. Well, I wasn't because I was impatient and didn't wait for the paint to dry again. And it pulled up some of the white paint, so I had to go back over with another sponge brush and touch up the spots that it pulled up. And I also had to redraw some of the lines, which was a pain. So definitely wait for your paint to dry before you put the paint down or before you put the tape down. And now we're going to announce the winner of the giveaway. And I just did a random um, name picker online. And I just entered everybody that said they followed the requirements and actually did. And here is our winner. It is Jim and Peg, and I don't want to butcher your last name, so <laughs> I will put it here. And you have 24 hours to contact me, and you can find my email address in my description box or in my About To page, and just email me your information where we can ship the paints to and I will forward that on to Arteza. And if I don't hear back from you within 24 hours, I um, have a second winner picked 
just in case. So now I'm taking some of this um, graphite transfer paper and this is from Arteza. I will link that in my description box. This is the first time I've ever used this so I found this saying that I really liked from an insert that came from a Dollar Tree frame. And all you want to do is just tape it into place so it doesn't move around on you and then use something, um, you know, like I did, like a pen, just so that you can um, mark where the letters are. And then after you're done, just take a marker and go over, you know, where it transferred onto your piece. And I think this is awesome because I don't have, um, what are they called, the Cricut or Cry Cut machines. So I thought this worked fantastic and I have a lot of ideas for it and it's reusable. So, you know, you're not just wasting a sheet every time you use it. I thought that was awesome. Like I said, I will have that linked in the description box if you're interested. And here is my trash to treasure. I hope you guys liked it. And congratulations to Jim and Peg. Like I said, email me within 24 hours. I'm so happy for you guys that you won. This is an excellent paint set that you won. And to everybody else, I hope to have some giveaways coming up in the future. So please check back. Thanks so much for all of your support and everybody who entered and your sweet, sweet, kind words that you left me. I had so many great comments and I just couldn't keep up with them. <laughs> I read them all, but there was no way I was going to be able to reply to them all. So I just want to say thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.